I cannot believe those men beat you up like this. Thank God you're okay. I, I, I couldn't live without you, Miguel. I know you're going to have to. Okay, I'm stuck in here for the rest of my life. So I want you to go back to Fox. Be a family with him until he dies. And when he's gone, find a man that's going to take care of you. And Maria. No, no. I love you. And Maria loves you too. And we are a family. And it's going to stay that way. Why can't Gay love me the way she loves me, Gail? She thinks I'm dying and she's still ready to dump me for him? Oh, I wish those guys would have killed him in the shower. I'll see you next time. My right Emma Gill was attacked here in prison. Oh, yeah, a couple guys beat the heck out of him in the shower. You idiot, you were a fool to hire some thugs to beat him up here in prison. The little Mac came more sympathetic to it. I didn't hire anybody to beat Miguel up. Well, if you didn't, then who did? <laughs> Don't you dare sit on my bed. I can only imagine what parasites are living on your body. Well, there is one way to find out. Undo <laughs> one more button, I swear I will set you on fire. Oh, uh, damn! You are one crazy blonde. You're no wonder you're alone. Shut up! I've got to think of a way to rescue Luis or how you can make it happen. I already made it happen. I got you into the prison. I even got you into the cell. And you bailed out. I told you. I didn't leave. Luis made me go. Well, it, okay, then. You gotta forget about him. Hey, Luis is toast anyway, right? Say adios, muchachos, and get yourself a replacement. Baby. Get it through that thick greasy head of yours. <laughs> I don't want just any man. I want Luis. I have to save him. I love him too much to let him die. <sighs> Stay away from me. I don't want to kiss you. I'm not going to kiss you. I'm going to kill you. Please, no! I'm here. I might as well go back and give Luis a chance to explain. Get away from me! Shut up and hold still. It won't hurt so much. I have to save my brothers. The Black Miller says he'll get them out of prison if I just stay with Jared and have his baby. That's right, Teresa. I want you out of the way so I can have Ethan. Being blackmailed into getting pregnant, it's wrong. It's wrong for, for you, for me. It's wrong for Jared. But most of all, it's wrong for that innocent little baby. Don't you sacrifice four lives to save two, Teresa. I will work on your brother's appeal. And I don't care who this blackmailer is. They can't control every single judge in this country. You know what? Just stop. I'm going to do what he wants, okay? Luis and Miguel would not be in prison right now if I would have just obeyed the blackmailer's demands to stay away from you. That's right. No, no. To hell with the freak. To hell with them. You belong with me. You belong with little Ethan and Jane. We should be a family. I know, but... Teresa, we love each other way too much. You know it. And I know it. Like you always say, right? It's fate. It's fate. You're making a mistake, Teresa. A deadly mistake. Listen about Fox. I know, he's he's out in the hall waiting for me. I was just about to tell him about us when your mom called and told me you were hurt. He insisted on coming with me, even though I know he has to know how I feel about you. Listen, about what I said, I, I just know, want... I know, I know, I know. You said you want me to forget about you and stay with him until he dies, but Miguel, I can't do that. I can't just stop loving you. I'm sorry. I am sorry if it upsets you, but you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. I mean it. I'm serious. I, I, I can't just get... Wait, what did you say? I said, okay. I love you. And I can't help how I feel about you. So I'm not going to fight you on it anymore. I mean it. I think Fox is better for you. But as Maria's father, I just want what's best for you and for her. I mean, you are what's best for us. You, you are the best. You're the best man, the best father, the best lover. 
And that's everything. And I love you. You know what's so weird? It's like I had the worst feeling that like something was happening to you. It was so weird. And then all of a sudden your mom called and told me that you were hurt. So like what happened exactly? I just went back to take another shower. And these two guys just asked me if I was Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald. And when I said yes, they just started beating me. Why, though? I don't know. I mean, maybe because Luis was a cop and I'm his brother. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Yeah, well, nothing's fair in prison, Kay. I mean, these guys gang up on one another just to relieve their stress. Wait, when you say relieve their stress, you don't mean they... What? You. No, no. This time they just beat me up. So you didn't hire some hooligans to beat up on Miguel? Okay, I'll say it again. I didn't hire somebody to beat up Miguel. Nor did I, which begs the question, who did? Well... Maybe just one of those things that happens in prison. You see, Miguel's the new guy, good looking. Whoever attacked him was probably just softening him up for, for later, if you know what I mean. I suppose. You know, Father, I thought it was gonna be like you said. Miguel gets shipped off to prison, Kay forgets about him. Out of sight, out of mind. But uh, obviously you were mistaken. Because now that he's a part of her, she just wants him even more. Well, if you ever come up with a plan B to help Loverboy get out of prison, you let me know, all right? Otherwise, I got stuff to do. You see, Harmony's underbelly doesn't run itself, you know. But don't go. I just had an idea. If Luis doesn't want me in prison, then I have to get him out. I, I can't help you with that. Why not? People escape prison all the time. Yeah, let's just say you get him out of prison. Get the guards would notice him missing. Then the warden and Chief Sammy would lock down all of Harmony until they nab Luis and the two idiots who helped them bust out. And FYI, you and me, way too pretty to be behind bars. If you know what I mean. Ah, uh, FYI, help me spring Luis from prison or you'll be sorry. If you know what I mean. me this ought to bring fancy back here he said get down on your knees against the wall where i told you to fine i'll do what you want just don't hurt me no put it down lopez fitzgerald no what the hell i did what you said shut up you okay yeah well, we were just the lopez fitzgerald wanted it you refused we and he just, came after you. we were just fooling around you sick bastard Guys, it's okay. Luis knows that no means no now. Yeah, right. Is there a female guard? The tough looking one? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being whacked by her. Well, sorry, pal. You don't get to choose which guards break up your fights. And besides, we wouldn't send a Nubian to break up a brawl with a violent thug like you. Even if she is a lesbian. Now, come on. Let's go. Get moving. Where are we going? Now, you're going to solitary for a long, long time. Wait. Come on, guys. Goodbye, Luis. I'll never forget you. One more time. Yeah, buddy. Oh, how could I have misjudged Luis so badly? He's been in prison less than a day, and he's already betrayed me. With a man, no less. God help me. I love you. God can help you now, Teresa. It's too late. It'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. No, 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 no. 
no, no, no. We can't do this. Yeah, no, really, yes, we can. No, 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 we can't. The black man's going to find out. I'll lose my brother's Ethan. No, no, I'm not going to let it happen. No, and worry. Jared, he's upstairs. He's waiting for me, and I, I, I need to bring this to him. Okay, so you need to be here. You no. need to be right here. Okay? No. Now, don't worry about Jared. We'll come up with a plan. We'll tell him something. No, no, no. Oh, my God. The plan's been decided. I'm going to be with Jared. I'm going to have his baby. And what are you doing? I have to save my brother. What are you... Teresa, I'm not going to lose you to some freak. how things were supposed to be. Kay's supposed to be getting over Miguel, not rushing to be by his side because he gets beat up in the prison shower. Miguel has not been incarcerated that long. Give her time to accept the fact that this is his fate. Well, how long do I stand by and watch my wife go gaga over Miguel? For all she knows, I could be dead tomorrow. Well, you must remind her of that and let her guilt work its marital magic. I see. Guilt isn't going to work anymore. Kay was this close to telling me that she loves Miguel right before Pilar burst in with a phone call telling us that Miguel was in the infirmary. This after I put on the full theatrics about how sick the treatment was supposedly making me. Then I guess we have a problem. I guess we have a problem. Who's my son? Miguel? Oh, my God. Mijo, they done to you. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay now. Oh, my God. Is he? Yeah, the doctor said he's going to be fine. Oh, my God, thank God. Luis is waiting to die, and you almost killed. I don't even want to think what could happen next. Look, I'm, I'm going to give you guys some time alone, okay? Thank you. It's all good. Why? Why did those men attack you? Why? I don't know, Mama. Okay, maybe because I'm Luis's brother, or maybe because I'm new. But I'm okay. Why, why didn't the other inmates in the shower help you? I don't understand. I was alone. Did those men attack you, Neil? No, Mama. And why does everybody keep asking me that? Mijo, por favor, even I know what can happen in a place like this. Yeah, well, I'm not going to let it happen to me. Okay? Okay. God. My two sons in this horrible place. Look, you... You and Luis, you just have to be strong. Can you just hold on until until Ethan can take, get you out of here on appeal? Yeah. I just hope Luis isn't being mistreated. So that's your bright idea. That we spring Luis from prison. Uh yes. Now all we have to do is come up with the details. Oh, is that all? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. You give me a buzz, you come up with the genius plan. Right? And maybe you should watch some Wild E. Coyote for inspiration later. Where do you think you're going? I just told you, Spike Man's got stuff to do. I got drugs to sell, I got horses to oh, no, kill. No, 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 no. Nothing you have to do is as important as what I want you to do. <laughs> Listen to this chick giving me orders. Honey, who do you think you are? <laughs> I'm the bitch who can make your life a living hell. That's who I am. Chef? Cook? Maid? Anyone? Oh, fine. Not as if I can't feed myself. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. I've seen this before. Ooh, or am I confusing it with that soccer player? <laughs> ah, I smell coffee. Oh, that must mean that there is a cup of it around here somewhere. So, oh, ah. oh. my, 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 what a very large cup. Oh, I have seen this before. This is what the servants use when they want to make coffee before they put it in the cup. <laughs> and Mummy thinks I'm helpless. <laughs> oh, cup. Hey. <laughs> Jared. 
Jared now. Louis and Miguel will be free soon. And Ethan, oh God, he's just going to have to accept it. Right? Chances are I'll be executed before Fancy ever finds out the truth. <sighs> I knew you and Ned wouldn't last. Ned? Wait, you mean Noah? We broke up last summer in Rome, remember? I'm with Luis now. At least I was until he went gay. Mm, that's right. I haven't taken my meds yet. Now, far be it for me to say I told you so, but I told you so. Luis is gay. Oh, now tell me what happened when you went back to see him. Okay, well, I wanted to prove to myself that I hadn't caught Luis in a clinch with a man before. But I was right the first time. Luis was in his cell with another man. Oh, goodness gracious. Luis is starting a gay harem. The noises they were making... Oh, the things they were saying were so graphic, I couldn't bring myself to look. Damn. Uh, I mean, well, uh, what were they saying? Well, things like... Get that thing away from me and shut up and hold still. This won't hurt as much. Go on. No, I mean it. Go on. I'm glad losing the love of my life to another man entertains you so. I am intrigued. Amazed that Louise could switch teams so easily. Of course. All the signs were there. Devotion to his mother, impeccable grooming habits, and the whole uniform discipline thing of being a cop. Oh, I hate to say it, but you were right. I saw Luis with his first honey in the shower with my own eyes. What is it about hot, steamy showers that turns men on to other men? Is it the way they're... Wet, glistening bodies are revealed in all their glory. Or the way their strong hands lather a bar of soap. Or the mist and the pulsating water that drive them to the primal earth. Okay, okay, Esme, stop. You're doing it again. Dollar says Luis is too. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting how upsetting it is that you never slept with Luis while he was allegedly straight. Now it's too late. He's in prison, practically screaming the love that dare not speak its name. <sighs> Let me go! Look, I gave up Ethan. I'm with Jared. I'm going to have this baby. Free my brothers. What more do you want from me? Please! So, uh, what was the prognosis from the doctor? Well, the doctor said he was going to be fine. Oh. Well, then you and Fox can go home to be with Maria. Well, I can't leave yet. Why not? Because I, I, I want to wait for the doctor, and I want to make sure that Miguel gets everything he needs. Well, Pilar is here. Let her be Miguel's advocate. I won't be long. Did Julian come to gloat? Well, if he did, he knows better than to do it in front of me. I'm just so glad that you're okay. <sighs> You weren't attacked by those men. Look, I think I'm going to talk to the doctor and see if there's any way we can keep you separated from those other inmates. Listen, I don't want That's special okay. treatment, okay? It's only going to cause trouble later. Well, hopefully you'll be out on appeal by then. Yeah, I'm going to talk to my dad and see if he can pull some strings. Okay, I wish you wouldn't. Well, that's too bad, because you're Maria's father, and I want to make sure you're safe until you come home to her. And to me. I'm not even dead yet. She's sitting there getting it off with Miguel. Two minor points. You're not really dying, and she's merely holding his hand. Oh, thanks, Father. What problem are you solving next? Third world poverty. I just want you to keep this in perspective and not overplay your hand. I mean, you're not supposed to know that Kay is in love with Miguel, are you? No. You know, I can't take this anymore. All right, I'm going to put an end to this right now. You do no such thing. Excuse me. Busting people out of prison is not on my resume. Then why are you wasting my time? I, I wanted to leave. You told me if I left, you'd bust my chops. 
Then what are you waiting for? Go! I don't have time to waste arguing with you. Who but a psycho? Excuse me? I said, don't talk so low. Having trouble hearing you. Fine, then. How's this? Get out and don't come back until I call you! Got it! Wow. Uh, uh, sorry, just one more thing. Uh, let's say Luis does get out of prison. Uh, what's to stop him from running off with Fancy once he's free? He wouldn't do that. Luis loves me. Fancy's just a distraction. Okay, then why did Luis boot you out of his cell? Uh huh. I was naive to think that I could live in prison with Luis. But once we get him out, that won't be a problem. Because Luis loves me. He always has and he always will. He's only with Fancy because he couldn't be with me. But now he can. And once we're together, we will never be apart. And if my stupid little niece thinks otherwise, then we'll take care of her then. Would you like some OJ? It is loaded with vitamin C. <laughs> You'll be loaded if you drink that mimosa on an empty stomach. Well, here's hoping. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I being insensitive? What with Luis going gay and all? Oh, I still can't believe it. I saw Luis with those men and I still can't believe it. Mm, the whole world is going gay, my dear. Gay, gay, gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Mm. You have very nice eyes. And lips. Esme! What? You think I'm coming on to you? Were you? No. <laughs> I'm straight. As long as there are straight men to be straight with. But when a man's man like Luis goes gay, I wonder. I mean, the days of men loving women may be numbered. I was merely thinking ahead. Yeah, we'll think about something else. I'm not ready to switch teams yet. Me neither. <laughs> yet. Okay, you're creeping me out. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting how guilty you must feel being the woman that has turned Luis off to other women. If your Aunt Sheridan wasn't angry at you before, wait till she hears that Luis has given a whole new meaning to the term homo erectus because of you. Oh, this isn't right. <sighs> Well, losing a man to another man never is. I have a list of my switch hitters somewhere. Now, Luis going gay after less than a day in prison? Something about that just isn't right. Oh, poor fancy. Poor, bitter fancy. I wonder if Luis was just pretending to be gay for effect. You know, so he could choose a guy before some huge hulk of an inmate chose him. Oh, if Luis was pretending to be gay in front of other inmates so that uh, they would leave him alone, well, that makes sense. But you saw him kissing his cellmate when no one else was around, so sorry, Trey Gay. Well, what if the guy, you know, pulled Luis into a lip lock without him knowing what was going on? But what about all the things they were saying? Well, they, they sounded gay, but I didn't actually see what they were talking mm, about. Fancy. I think you're having trouble accepting Luis's new orientation. What I can't accept is that he doesn't love me anymore. Well, if you think Luis still loves you... I do. Then go to him, Fancy. Give Luis another chance to explain himself. Speak. Ethan. Sorry. Listen, listen, listen. Sorry. I wanted to get you into these passageways deep enough before I said anything so I could explain myself, okay? Oh, my God. Explain yourself. How the hell can you explain yourself plucking me from a hallway like that, okay? And, and Jared, he is still waiting for me to bring him his breakfast. Forget about Jared, okay? Listen, follow me. Everything will make sense soon. Come on. I'm gonna go finish it off with those guys starting the show. I want you to get a grip. All right, you were supposed to be weak from those treatments. Do you remember that? If Kay sees you loaded for bear, all is lost. You must be patient. 
Once she understands that a future with Miguel is hopeless, she will turn to you. Damn it, Father, I have been patient. And look where that's got me with Kay. She's still in there with Miguel. From the looks of things, she's not going to leave him anytime soon. Well, it is good to see you smile, mijo. You must be feeling better, huh? I am. It's great having two of the women I love most in my life here with me. Mm. If only Maria were here, things would be perfect. Well, one day things will be perfect. I promise. You promise? Mm -hmm. think hard enough, I can come up with a way to get Luis out of prison before he's executed. Just once but twice. I love you. You're my one true love. My soulmate. I can't live without you. I couldn't love you anymore right now. <sighs> you know, about uh, my fling with Fancy, you were with Chris, I was lonely. It's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs> now that Chris and Fancy are gone, we can be together. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. I can do it. I can get Louise back. Now, what are you mumbling? Almost got it. The perfect plan to save Luis. Now what? Locked in solitary? How the hell am I supposed to explain to Fancy that I was kissing Sheridan and not some guy? How am I going to tell her that I love her? I didn't go gay within hours of being locked up. I certainly wouldn't be kissing Max. Hell, I wouldn't be kissing any inmate. Why am I having this conversation with myself? Oh, my God. I must be losing it in solitary. Oh, damn it. I gotta find a way to get out of here. Come on. Where are you taking me? I'll explain once we get there. You can't get away from me, Teresa. Even with Ethan's help, I will find you. And when I do...
Okay, well, what is this? It was one of Alistair's safe rooms. He had more than one? Evidently. Apparently my father found this place when the search team was looking for that blackmailer. That's good. That's good for them. Mm -hmm. So, how does it help us? I mean, why did you bring me here? Well, um, we're safe here. And no one can find us here. Not anyone. Not Jared. Not the blackmailer. Not anyone. And why exactly did you bring me here? I'm going to call Paloma and leave word for her at home that you're okay. Yeah, tell her not to worry about me. I will be. I'm going straight to church and thanking God that you're okay because I, I don't know what Maria and I would have done if something happened to you. Yeah, well, it's still good, Kay. I'm stuck in here for life. No, okay? This is not how it's going to end for us. We are going to be together. Some way, somehow, you're going to get out of here and, and we're going to be a family. Bob said Kay is opening up with a couple of, of bumps and bruises, and here I am, supposedly dying, and she could give a damn. How am I supposed to fight that and win? Well, the truth is, I no longer think you can win. I think Kay's love for Miguel is so strong and so enduring that she'll never replace Miguel in her heart. Are you saying that I should just give up, Kay? Let her, let her be a family with Miguel and Maria? No. Perish the thought. I'm saying I think that we have reached the point where we have no choice but to eliminate Miguel. There's a roadblock to your happiness with Kay. Define eliminate. Succinctly put, Romeo must die. You have to kill Miguel. Risk is worth it. I can't live without Louise. Why you... What are you still doing here? You told me not to leave, remember? Oh, right. It's taken me just a little bit longer to come up with a plan to get Louise out of prison. Speaking on that, I just got some news from my contacts on the inside. About Louise? Negative. Your niece fancy. What about her? Well, it turns out she quit her job at Harmony PD and got one as a prison guard. What? Uh, from what I understand, her and lover boy in solitary right now. That sneaky little slut. Disguising herself so that she can get into the prison to be with Louise. Yeah, imagine that. I won't let her get away with it. I won't let her be with Louise. Oh, oh, my God, thank God you came back. Oh my God. Hey, listen, I really need to explain about well, what happened earlier. Well, that's why What? Oh, my God, you're hurt. What? No, it's, it, honestly, it looks worse than it is. I'm okay. Well, I heard you fighting with your cellmate before. What? Was he playing hard to get? No. Max was trying to help me. Do what? Do what? Well, I thought if we staged a fight, then you would come back, break it up. I could explain to you everything that happened, why you... Anyway, the two goons came back and beat the hell out of me, but... I'm really glad that you're here now. Well, I, I just came back to get the truth. God, I love you. <gasps> No, 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 oh. we can't do this. Oh, my God, Jared, he's, he's still waiting for me. No, Please don't no, he can wait, I can't wait. Mm -mm. No, 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 last time I ignored the blackmail, what happened? My brother's wound up in prison, Ethan, what, what, what if we get caught again? why I brought you here. There's no way that freak is going to know what we're doing or why we're doing it. No, 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 I'm married, I'm married, I'm married to Jared, and you are still married to Gwen, and Teresa, two wrongs don't make a right. you want me as much as I want you. That's beside the point, Ethan. No, 
It is the point. It is the point. And you only went back to Jerry because of that black man. You know, I care about him. I, I really do care but about you him. you don't care about him the way you care about me. No, that's, that's, oh God, that's the truth. Yes, yes, you know what, when I'm with him, I, I dream I'm with you. Really? Mm-hmm. You don't have to dream anymore because I'm right here. Kill him. 